Hi. Now, in this example, we're told that the value of Bob's car can be calculated from the formula V equals 17,000 e to the power minus 0.25t plus 2,000 e to the power minus 0.5t and then plus 500. Where V is the value of the car in pounds and T is the age in years. And in the first part, we've got to find the value of the car when t equals zero. And then go on to calculate the exact value of t when v equals 9,500. And in the last part, part c, find the rate at which the value of the car is decreasing at the instant when t equals eight. And give your answer in pounds per year to the nearest pound. So if you'd like to uh, have a go at this, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, so let's see uh, how we go about this. Well, in part A, all it is is just literally substituting t equals zero into our equation here. So essentially, let's just put that when t equals zero, what we have is that v will equal, well, anything to the power zero is gonna be one. So it's just going to be 17,000 plus 2,000 and then plus the 500. And if you total this up, what you find is that that value of the car turns out to be 19,500 pounds. Right, so that's part A then, nice and easy. Now in part B, we've got to calculate the exact value of T when that value V is 9,500. So in part B, then all we're saying is that when V equals 9,500, we just set up our equation. And that is then we just copy this out and it equals 9,500. So we've got therefore 17,000 e to the power minus a 0.25t. Now I'm going to call that minus a quarter t. You don't have to do that. I'm even going to just write it as minus t over 4. All right. And for the next term we got plus 2000 e to the minus 0.5t. So I'm just going to write that as plus 2000 e to the, well instead of minus 0.5t I'm going to write that as minus a half t or minus t over 2. And then we've got plus the 500, and we're told that equals 9,500. Now, at this point, what I notice is that I've got these negative powers. I don't like negative powers. You could get rid of them making them positive powers, if you like, just by saying that this is 17,000 all over e to the power t over 4. This would be 2,000 all over e to the power t over 2. But I don't want to even create fractions here. So what I'm going to do is in fact multiply through by e to the power t over 2. And that will get rid of these negative powers. And also at the same time I'm going to subtract 9,500 from both sides. So if I multiply this by e to the power t over 2, e to the power half t if you like, then remember we just add the powers so you're going to get 17,000 and then e to the power a quarter t. Okay, so that's basically minus a quarter plus a half, so it's going to give us a quarter e to the t over 4. Then when we multiply this term by e to the power half t, then we'll end up with e to the power 0 here, or 1. So you're just going to have plus 2,000. And then for this term and this term, well if I subtract 9,500 from both sides, that's going to be 500 minus 9,500 is going to leave me with minus 9,000. And I'm also multiplying this 
by e to the power t over 2. So that would be e to the power half t or t over 2. And that's going to equal 0. Now what I notice here is that I can cancel through now by a thousand. So if I cancel by a thousand, those three zeros are going to go there, three zeros there, and three zeros there. Now what I notice at this point is that this is a quadratic equation in t upon 4. Let me explain. If I was to say let x equal say e to the power t upon 4, then what we've got here is essentially 17x. We got our plus 2, but when we get to this term, this is minus 9x squared. Because if I was to square e to the power t upon 4, you would add the powers and t upon 4 added to another t upon 4. A quarter t plus a quarter t is a half t, e to the power half t, this term here. So I hope that makes sense. Now this quadratic equation needs to be rearranged. So if I was to multiply through both sides by negative 1, this would be 9x squared, so we would therefore have 9x squared, and then minus 17x, and then minus 2 equals 0. And we'd want to factorise this, and if we do try and factorise this, it would be a couple of brackets equals 0, and it'll be a 9x and an x, and we've got a plus 1 here and a minus 2 here. So that means that each of these two factors could equal 0, so therefore x could equal minus 1 ninth. Or, in this case, x could equal 2. So what this means then is that if we were to just come down here, that if x equals minus 1 ninth and x is e to the power t upon 4, it would mean that therefore e to the power t upon 4 would equal minus 1 ninth. But when you've got an exponential function, if it equals a negative number, there is no solution. The reason for that is, is if we were to sketch an exponential function, we should be familiar with what it looks like. And it would be a graph that approaches this horizontal axis like this and goes up like so. In other words, it is never negative. So what I'm trying to say is that there is no solution for this particular value. Let's just put no solution in here. So what that means is that our only other solution is when x equals this positive value 2. So when x equals 2, if we just come down here, we've got that x is e to the power t upon 4, so you've got e to the power t upon 4 must equal 2. And if we take natural logs of both sides, it follows that t upon 4 must equal the natural log of 2. And if I multiply both sides by 4, then we see that it follows that t equals 4 times the natural log of 2. And that's our exact answer. It wanted the exact value of t. So we we'll just leave it like that. Okay, well, in part C now, we've got to find the rate at which the value of the car is decreasing at the instant when t equals 8, and give our answer in pounds per year to the nearest pound. Well, a rate of change is to differentiate our value for v with respect to time. So we need to find out what dv by dt equals. Now, dv by dt, when you're differentiating an exponential function, if we take this as 17,000 e to the minus a quarter t, 
Then when we differentiate this, we get minus a quarter multiplied by the 17,000 and then this is multiplied by e to the power minus a quarter t or t over 4. I'm assuming you're familiar with differentiating e a to the t, a being a constant. If you differentiate e a to the t you get a e to the a t. So that's what I'm using here. And then when we come on to differentiate this one, 2000 e to the minus a half t, we get minus a half multiplied by the 2000 and then we have e to the minus a half t or e to the power minus t over 2. And then when it comes to differentiating the constant plus 500, well that's 0. Now if you work out what minus a quarter of 17,000 is, you find out that it is minus 4,200 and 50. And then we've got e to the power minus a quarter t or minus t over 4. And then minus a half of 2,000 is minus a thousand. And then you've got e to the power minus a half t or minus t upon 2. And so we just need the value when t is 8. So when t equals 8 what we have is that therefore dv by dt, the rate of change of the value of the car, just is going to be equal to, well, putting that into there, you've got minus 4,250, and minus 8 divided by 4 is going to be e to the power minus 2. And then you've got minus 1,000 multiplied by e to the power, and minus 8 divided by 2 is going to give us minus 4. Put this through your calculator and you will get a negative number. In fact, you get minus 593.490 and so on. Now, you be careful here because it says find the rate at which the value of the car is decreasing. The negative sign is telling us that it is decreasing. We want the magnitude of this so we can say, therefore, it is decreasing okay at the positive value here and that is at 593 pounds okay per year to the nearest pound okay because we had to give it to the nearest pound all right so hope you've got that quite tricky in places I feel, especially over this bit here where you've got to form this quadratic equation. You've got to be able to see that it's going to head towards a quadratic equation. Anyway, as I say, I hope you've been able to follow my methods here.